What's up? My name's Ben Cohen. Welcome to This is the Police. Usually, before I go shaking my tits for the press, I like to go see how the professionals do it. Uh, I know where you're going. We don't know where you're going. I know where you're going. Some might say the chief of police has no business in an institution like this. But in fact, it's the quietest and safest place in town. Oh, I know where you're going, boy. You run into any reporters. Nobody gets into any fights. Nobody drinks too much. Nobody even raises their voice. The place what club are you in, bro? elderly gentleman who knows how to keep things under control. Ah. Uh. That's why I never invite my friends here. <laughs> I wanted to make an exception for my 60th birthday, but most of my colleagues are young enough to be my sons, and they'd rather just hire prostitutes. Why stare at some boobs when you can take the whole package for yourself? <laughs> but there's none of that in our club. Even looking too long is considered indecent. You can get an occasional glimpse, like by accident. The rest of the time you just pretend that you're immersed in conversation, or just come by for a drink. It's the worst Doesn't club ever. Women wouldn't want their bald heads smothered in tits. It's just that nobody says it out loud. <laughs> My younger colleagues might call it hypocrisy, but I call it the good old fashioned manners. Good manners and leave the rest unsaid. She agrees to unbutton her blouse, and we agree not to pay too much attention. The girls are on a quiet <laughs> prowl, too. They're looking for a way out of their cramped rooms. Maybe make friends with some wealthy patron with a pacemaker and dentures. Oh, I got some dentures. No, I don't. <laughs> we have to control ourselves, or we'll all turn uh. into libertines and prostitutes. Hell, if there weren't any rules, I'd be belching and farting, jumping up on the table, arms held high, yelling, shake it, baby! <laughs> it's, it's freaking awesome. No idea how I got so barbaric. This is not something, this is the tracks, and somehow you came over the tracks like that. Alright, we're back into it. Feminist can deny that I saved newspapers before. Let's do this. Be for another long, hard day at work. Please. Who is it? I'm alone at home, and there's a knock at the door. I always hope it'll be my wife, Laura. She's always forgetting her keys. Hello, my name is Steve, and you're Jack Boyd, is that right? <laughs> to get to my front door, the Bible boys walked about a mile from the local bus it's, shop. It's, um, jumping over mud puddles cool. and skirting a couple of landfills. Laura doesn't go in for religion either. But according to her, these brave lunatics with their fake smiles deserve at least a minute of attention. It's the Book of Mormon. To them. It's the more Book of Mormon. We'll convince you. Reason. Never once dropping a hint of condescension. When I watch her do it, I've got to admit it gets me. I'd have hugged those boys, sat with them on the porch, and lit up a cigar. But a month after Laura left, all I could do was quietly ask them not to bother me. Aww, uh, why, Laura? Still. Shut the door on his nose this time. Another couple weeks at this rate, and I'll be greeting anyone who comes close with my service pistol pointed towards the sky, ready to fire my warning shots. You know, ready with those warning shots to bang, bang. Stuff never goes like it's supposed to. Normally, when a wife is going to leave home, she'll make a scene, or at least sit everyone down for a serious conversation. But Laura just disappeared. The children in the stories always stand on the side of the mother, but all three of our sons supported me. Yeah, where are they? The in-laws always blame the husband for making their daughter unhappy. But now Sally, Laura's mother, well, we sort of have a pact. The fellow Laura must be a biatch. Young enough to be her son. I hear he's 30 years old. Of all the possible information a man can know about his wife's lover, I get hit with that. Oh. Probably Laura's mother doesn't like the way it sounds either. Sally figures this guy just thought he'd have some fun with a mature woman, but he'll be back chasing college girls before the year is out. So we he's have 30. Answer. How would he chase Sally's college gonna girls? Track down Laura and try to reason with her, and we'll arrange a meeting. Meanwhile, I'm supposed to not do anything stupid. Oh, like that's that, like that's gonna last. It's a crazy situation. 
I'm the police chief, and the person I'm trusting to find my wife is an old woman armed with a phone book. A but phone book is better than a knife. So if you try to stab someone with a phone book, you life. get the knife stuck in the phone book, and then like, then you're screwed, and she just smashes you over here with the phone book. Hello. Mr. That was Marco, the stupidest thing I've ever said. Oh, is there any news? That's what I wanted to ask you. Have you found anything? An address? Phone number? Have you spoken to her? Don't worry, Jack. I've narrowed the range to two suspects, or whatever you like to say at your police building. At it's not a police, police building, it's a police station! People fast Get it right! The old woman chirping on the phone with my wife's girlfriends. Oh, you're an old man, Jack. Come to your senses, they give us straight odds on the street. But I've got more energy, Jack. Maybe you think I'm a foolish old woman, but I go to my book club, argue with the girls about Byron, and it gives me energy. <laughs> I talk to my dogs, and it gives me energy. Oh, that's a sad old woman. You don't even have a hobby. You got no passion. It's why Laura left you. Let's not go back in. Oh! Find my wife, and we can discuss my hobbies later. I'm waiting for your call, and my patience is running thin. Laura, if you've stopped loving me, I'll let you go. I can't expect the impossible from you. Just don't let me die out here, okay? My shoulder really hurts. Come on, Bessie! 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 Oh, oh Bessie died on me. Alright. There's some um, pipes in my head, but I need a way around for the plumber. No! Screw that, like you're gonna go, you're gonna go wait around for the plumber, don't, don't lie to me. Um, let's listen to this one now. Bud meets Bob. When Bud meet Bob, da 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 da. <coughs> city Hall parking lot. I remember the city hall because I uh, saw an elderly man approaching some, sends a car to the park carrying a long iron rod. The whole street could hear him shouting, bastards, thieves. Blood suckers! Alright, maybe we'll send we'll send Price wait, I thought we lost Price. We'll send Price on that. That was that. Homicide. Ah! Oh, detectives are on it! Let's how many detect Alright, someone shot outside their home, so no. Close. I'm gonna put two detectives on it. Come on! Make trouble! Thank you! Alright, um, carjacker. Gas recorder. Alright! We're, we're getting, we're getting, um, Tessa. To, I don't know how to say that, but you two, get on it! Woo! 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 Report! You moron! Yeah, Price can't lose any stars because he's so stupid. Oh, what's this? What? What do I have to do? Okay. I don't know what I have to do there. 69,000! No, 6,900 dollars. <laughs> Uh Wait. Um, the driver's not on scene. Interview potential. Way safety is for driver here. Uh, search the car. Uh, Fenner. Oh, shit. Not to Tasubaki. Tasubaki. Not. Not. You know what? You'll be remembered. Alright, let's all take five seconds of silence for Tessa but Tessa Tessa Bucky. Alright, that's all. Oh, we got a pedophile on the loose. But he could his kids could be playing there for over an hour and he could be taking photos of them and his friends. Alright, we're gonna send price on this because can I can I send people? We're gonna send price. Price, I know you're not gonna do it, but I don't give a crap. Alright, try it. what? It's a boy, I'm opening for his first national arts club. Because we don't want to hold a story match. But you need to take on your cuff, tops top. Well, I could send here, uh, but then you're probably gonna pay her a lot, so I'm gonna send you. 
A stunner. A stunner. I'm gonna send the stunner. Yes. Price, you are so stupid. Even though I knew you weren't gonna do it. So you was. I thought it might just be a guy there and a homicide. Open investigation. Uh, and what what am I meant to do? Okay. Good job. Oh. All right. A hey, report the couple just started fighting over tips and cat cat and a cat fight broke out on stage. Uh, if you two don't catch this, I will bash the crap out of you when you get back. All right. A a bartender report a fight broke out between Patreon and Bar Bouncer. Man is apparently drunk and climbing to the stage with Lily and woman tried to sing a duet with her. Ah, oh, you drunk moron. Go send her. Report. Chief, I just nailed the jail a couple times. Too fast for me. I want to point out. I didn't understand all the rules. He showed me a few tricks. I got carried away a little and pulled my back. You are all so stupid. Ugh. Day's over. Sayonara! Wait, what? Yeah. On the stage, you should be... Ooh. Oh, wait, I thought it meant to be a civilized club. On the stage, two strippers are going at it. It's gone beyond a full-on cat fight. The bouncer is fast asleep. Clearly too wasted. Draw a patient and they're happy watching the fight. Draw your search room. Listen, girls, cut the crap or it's going to get serious. Cut the crap! Oh, shit. She got... She just got like that. Crack across her neck, like crack across the jaw, broken jaw. Got it. You know, I should stop. Strippers continue fighting. Obviously, oblivious to the police scene. Ask the bartender for a bucket of coal. <laughs> Watch the strippers go at it and don't interfere. Stand on stage, try separating. Oh, Price, you dumb bitch. It's always Price's fault. Anything goes wrong, you blame it on Price. She's she's the stupid one, so you blame it on her. Ugh. Alright. Good job. Two officers can't do as good a job as her. Alright, end the day. Wait, what button again? End the day. Good job, men. Um, we, lo we lost the good we lost the good member today. We lost the We lost the good member today. She, she was a good service woman. What the F is this? What is shift A and shift B? I don't know. <coughs> Checkpoint! No, please. Uh, 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 it's pregnant woman. What the fuck? City has no problems with racists. Also, police places. I thought she was a suicide bomber. You shot a pregnant woman because you thought she was a suicide bomber. Why would a Stupid. man need a barn to store all the stuff you can't bring home? About 30 years ago, back when I was young and interested in farming, I carried all kinds of junk home. After a day in the field, I'd come home with buckets, shovels, dirty boots and clothes, and instantly transform the living room. But even like, back then, snap. there's something I always kept in the barn. Is um, Playboy magazines. Did I get it? I got it, right? The Playboy magazines. Wait, 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 look. That, that's where you keep them. Oh. His pills would work too. I stopped keeping my pills inside the house because every time I was about to take a triple, someone would knock on my bedroom door. Now they're knocking on my barn door. Well, fine. It's not every day that someone comes to visit your barn. Hey, why are you visiting me barn? Oh, hi. In all the years we worked together, Kendrick never came to visit the house. We drank at bars, went fishing, went to the mountains, even chased off some poachers one time. But he never. Wild came men. Family. Just we never absolutely crazy. Over here. And now he's brought his friends to visit my barn. I always try to look unsurprised, like it's an everyday thing to get visitors at the old barn especially guests with their own personal bodyguards. But Kendrick is sharp enough to see he's caught me with my pants on backwards. 
So oh, Rich, you been doing that? Jack, we saw you from the car. Figured we'd find you in here. I'm going in for a minute, fellas. These guys will wait outside. Yeah, that that's not shifty. How long you been dating the lover boys? They're sans people, Jack. <laughs> yeah. So now you're appearing in public with members of the Mafia? Jack, I'm leaving tonight. More like fleeing. Jenny and I are taking the girls and making a run for it. Probably won't be seeing each other again. I've got new documents, a new name, a new life, everything new. The papers say you're still so working stupid. your last week for the department. I've got to get out today. I won't be getting another chance. Don't know if you noticed, but the whole city is against me. Because you you're a, a moron. Your friends about your plans, Jackie. If I don't fix everything with them in the next few hours, they're going to kill me. And not just me, my family, my relatives, God, Jack, I don't know who else. They found out that I was planning to run, and they demanded that we close our contract today. What, what do you want from me, then? I'm not, I'm not supposed to be out of the country. Really? Is that how you talk now? Maybe you should call in the lawyers to straighten all this out. <laughs> I can't just give them back the money. That's not how the Mafia works. If I can't find someone I can trust tonight, I'm dead. You know me, Jack. I wouldn't ask you if I wasn't afraid they'd cut my daughters to pieces before sunrise. He's the damn fool who puts his daughters in the crosshairs in the first place. Anyone in my place would have dressed him down good. But I didn't want to pile it on. Refuse to help his stupid ass. He expects I'm Jack a boy to help. I don't think I have anything to say that you don't already know. I'm sorry for your family. I wish them all the best of luck. Now I feel terrible. One of your daughters does get chopped up. Oh, I feel swad. Bessie! Bessie, come on! Best is gonna break down one of these days. She's getting old. Alright, shift A. Start the day. Alright, rhyme. Shift A. You should start the day. Hey. Alright, we're gonna listen to a new one. Singing him. By John Singh. Alright. Just the way I like it. With, with my whiskey. Putting a few back. Short Jamison. Alright. Um, every morning there's a dirty, piss soaked bum sleeping at the cafe. Man to go and grabs anyone who approaches, scaring all. Fuck. Ah. Uh, Grant, get the F on there. Go, go kick his. Oh. City Hall. Woo! Cha ching, cha ching, cha ching, ching. Tomorrow is the deadline. Fire all black cops. Piss off. Like, I'm gonna. Look, my black cops are the best. Racist pricks. Um, a witness looked out from her window while an armed man with a stock in his head entered a nearby store. Send that shit down. Oh, swipe shit. You serious, boys? We got the backup. Alright, you better shut that shit down, man. Nothing like that's. Ooh. Fight. Uh, we've only got one cop left. Shit, I didn't, I didn't organize this properly. I uh, grant. You are a stupid, stupid. St I'm not even going. All right, the shop has two exits. A few people have fed. Enter the store through the main entrance. Drive patrol car. The fuck. Drive the patrol car straight through the window. All right, the stick-up man notices. Police presence and took one. He's holding off the gun to hot head shape. Back off, I'll blow his goddamn face up. My cashier's yelling in unknown language. You and the mask shut your face and it's not shut your face, shut Quiet Abdul, you just made <laughs> Uh silently so take care of the robber. The robber goes no, don't shoot please, I just need the money. I'll just take a bit and go. No one was hurt. The cashier begins to cry. There's two ways out of this coffee shop. Incarcerate a body bag. Shoot the robber. I'll let you leave here up straight. I if you may start. Oh, that's really stupid, but. Oh, I really did want. Effort. But I wanted him to escape, right? Ah, oh, shh. 
Wait, robbery. Put put my lead detectives on it. I only have two detectives. All right, Jack, a very old night. He send to your fine. I don't know who's my finest marksman. Yeah, take her. I have to send two. Uh, it's one hot day and a lot of people are going for a swim. Last week, four people drowned in the beaches of Freiburg. The press was in uproar. Please send someone to keep an eye thing. Shit. I don't have any people. Oh, you morons. I'm not getting my pay if you can't do your job. Alright. Shit. Come on, someone get back, 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 someone, someone, someone. Yes! Bam, bam, bam. Take those pricks down. What the hell's that, City Hall? Oh wait, we can... Yeah, let's get some people. Hire for Shift A. I need some more people, so... I'll hire another detective. I'll hire one for Shift B, because we lost the person. Woo! Alright. Well done, hunting. Yeah, good job. Good job at hunting. Um, yeah. Cool. Um, is it, where is everyone? All right, they, they should be coming back. They should actually be heading to that. Yes. Um, can anybody catch a offender? All they do is escape. They're like, hey, you guys suck, so I'm escaping. Robbery report. All right, open investigation. Do I need to put these in order? Oh, I know. I need to put them in frames. And then, and then, and then, and then, and then, and then. And then. How do I? And then that. Yes! We have sold the mystery. Oh, wait, what? Alright, you two get on it. Even though we're probably not going to catch him, but. You know, fuck, man, get back quickly, quickly, quickly. Cover. I said one dude on it. Rubbery. Woo! You guys actually did it. You're not that stupid after all. Case closed. I arrest all suspects. Beautiful. Why did I just do an Italian accent? Anything else happening for the night? Just waiting for my detectives to get back. Oh, something happened. Report. Can you ever catch anybody? End of the day. Looks like tomorrow's just going to be a long day. More like the first lot of long days. This church going, tell me about it. Long day of the police chief. Too much crap's happening. Ugh. Anyway, hope you guys... Did enjoy this video? If you did, make sure you smash that like button and subscribe. <laughs>